In this video, we'll show that if we have two non-null square matrices A and B, such that the product of these is the zero matrix, then the determinant of these matrices is zero. We'll do it by reduction to the absurd. Suppose that the opposite of what we want to prove is true. By de Morgan's laws, the negation of a conjunction is the disjunction of the negations. That is, not the determinant of A equals zero, which means the determinant of A is different from zero, or not the determinant of B equals zero, which means the determinant of B is different from zero. So, we have that the determinant of A is different from zero, or the determinant of B is different from zero. There are these two cases, and we need to show that in both we arrive at a contradiction. Let's look at the case where the determinant of A is different from zero. The other case is analogous and you can do it as an exercise. If the determinant of A is not zero, what happens? Think. What characterizes matrices with a determinant other than zero? Effectively, they're invertible. They have an inverse. Therefore, it follows that the inverse of A exists. So now we copy the initial expression and multiply in front by the inverse of A in the two parts. Be careful, we can do this because the inverse of A exists. So, behind, a matrix times the zero matrix gives the zero matrix. In front, we have a bit more work to do. First, we apply the associative property and now we have the inverse of A times A, which is the identity matrix. This is times B, and the identity times B is B. So we've arrived at B is zero, which is false, since by our starting hypothesis, B is different from zero. As we've said in the same way, if the determinant of B is different from zero, we also reach a contradiction. So we arrive at the conclusion that always the determinant of A is zero and the determinant of B is zero, as we wanted to show.